who don't fully understand the gravity of mental health. It's you and me. Society. And have never experienced mental health disorders firsthand. The lack of awareness from the general public. People who try to segregate other people and people who try to put these mental health issues into a negative light. We always say it is the society's problem, it is the society's fault, culture's fault. But we have to understand that society and culture, it's not something alien. It consists of you, me, our families, our friends, the people around us. I personally think it's caused by a lack of understanding. And those that don't even try to learn, try to understand what is actually a mental health issue. People who don't try to understand or empathize with people who actually face mental health problems. It's just something that's always existed. A place of superiority and selfishness because people just try to avoid responsibility for others or avoid uh, having to see or understand other people's problems. So they come up with these stigmas of weakness or something's being all in someone's head because they can use that as, as an excuse to just keep themselves distant. Parents, teachers and friends. This is most likely due to a lack of awareness and also a lack of education on this issue. Those that don't understand about how bad is mental health issue. Seeking aid is definitely nothing shameful about it. As in, it is like seeking medical assistance when you break your leg. It mainly affects those who are already suffering from mental health disorders. People who genuinely have problems with their mental health. People either suffering from mental health issues. Those who have mental health issues. The social stigmatization of mental health will make them internalize the negative views of mental illnesses until it becomes a self-perceived stigma. The community facing them, especially the youths. They are beloved ones and their family members. Of course, it affects people who face mental health problems. Those that trying to seek for help, but because of this stigma, they decided to be quiet and just get along with it. They already go through so much of pain and self-doubt because of mental health issues, and these stigmas just make it worse. Because if they're told over and over again uh, about these stigmas, you're weak, you're this, you're that, they themselves might actually start to believe it and invalidate their own experiences. With the existence of social media where most people pose the highlight reel of their lives, I think a lot of youths have a very distorted perception of what the reality is like for most people. And subsequently, this may lead to uh, the self-invalidation of one's mental health problems. People who want to sort of find out more about their own mental health just because they don't feel validated. They don't feel like their struggles are valid. Meaning they can't get the help that they really need. It means that they can't cope in the way that is healthy. To educate yourself. Always had those conversations. Educate yourself. In educating ourselves on mental health problems, either through open discussions with people around us or through reading. You have to be an upstander. Learn more about mental health issues and make yourself aware of the true facts. We shouldn't be afraid to speak up against people who stigmatize mental problems. Pass on the information to others. Questioning and asking people who talk about it why. Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong to seek help? Why do we see it in such a negative light? Spread the awareness so that people would know how to use the correct words and stop spreading the stigma and hatred. Which means you need to speak up when people look down on this issue or or on people who face these problems and you need to be firm on your stand about it meaning that uh, you have to walk the talk and it's not enough for you to believe it yourself but you don't practice it when you're in a social situation so you have to be vocal about it as well to read to learn to gain your own understanding of what mental health really is to sort of just purge all of these myths that you believe from your own brain. Call them out, call them out for their actions, tell them it's not cool, it's not cool to stigmatize people like that. For me it's easy, we are spreading off awareness about mental health issue in any single way that you guys can do so that people are aware that this kind of this kind of depression and anxiety is also an illness. So let's make the world a better place for us, so yeah and to listen to people who choose to open up to you about their issues because most of the time
these stigmas, they sort of just pop out when you interject to offer your own opinion. So instead, try to listen to them all the way to the end. Help educate people around you, try reading around the subject. If you improve your knowledge about it, that means you can spread it for more people and make more people aware of why it shouldn't be stigmatized and why people should be seeking help. So obviously in the past couple of years, we've seen an increase in people sharing and promoting the fact that mental health does exist. And while it has gotten more attention and got more recognition, um, to stop the stigma itself, I think it starts with the individual. How you have to get rid of the mindset that mental health is caused by being lazy, it's caused by being unproductive, because it's not. Because mental health is real, it actually affects people, and most of the times it's something that people cannot control. So I think just by understanding where it comes from and why it comes about, would be able to reduce the stigma and let people get help and let people acknowledge the fact that mental health is just as important as physical health. Uh, we should, however, be very careful with our attitudes and behavior when approaching conversations on mental health. Try to be understanding and um, supportive of people who are actually facing mental problems and refrain from invalidating people who share their struggles with us. I think if enough people do this and enough people start educating other people, we can slowly just iron out all of these existing myths and false beliefs people have about mental health. So the next time you see your friend or someone beside you using or making a comment of, of crazy, mad or psycho to someone who has mental health issues, you know what to do. Together, we can not only create a world where mental health is regarded as a subject of extremely high importance, but also a world where mental health disorders are responded to and treated in a way that doesn't belittle the person experiencing them but instead helps them feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel that we can try to help them get to. Together, we can destigmatize mental health. Hashtag, Hashtag let's make the world a better place.